Hello and welcome to SAS Guru. In this video, we will transform contact information from AWS S3 so that multiple identifiers per customer can be stored in the custom identifier list DLO created in the previous step. Let's start by clicking on Data Transforms. Click New. Select Batch Data Transforms. Click Next. Select Objects. Click Next. This will open a new tab. Add input data, which will be AWS S3 customers. But add only three columns or three fields. Customer reward number, which is a number. Customer ID, which is a text. And passport number, which is also text. Click Next. First, we are going to extract those records with the passport number filled in. So click on plus and use filters. Let's call this filter transformation get passport number. Click apply. Next, we'll use the add custom expression and the function car length, which gets the length of a populated field. The column will be the passport number. Select greater than zero. So it will look like it will extract only those records where the passport number field has a value greater than zero. Click apply. Next, we are going to use data transform or a transform node to add more columns. Click plus. Click transform. Let's call this step as add key identifier, type and name, and drop column. Click apply. First, we will drop this customer reward number column. So select this column and click on this drop column. Let's call this the drop customer reward number. Click apply. Then we are going to add the key of the record using this function, custom formula, and a concatenation function. Let's call this transformation as add key. Use concat, plus the first field will be customer ID, and the second will be passport number. The output of this transformation will be text. The column will be identifier key. The API name will be identifier, underscore key, underscore, underscore C. Click apply, so that adds a column identifier key. Now let's add one more column that is identifier name, custom formula. Add identifier name will be the transformation name. Here we are going to hard code it to the passport number. The output will be text. The column label will be identifier name. The API name will be identifier underscore name underscore underscore C. Click apply. Let's add one more column that will be identifier type. Function custom formula. Add identifier type will be the transformation name. Here again, it will be hard coded to identifier. Output is text. Column is identifier type. The API name will be identifier underscore type underscore underscore C. Click apply. And finally, we are going to rename the passport number column to identifier number. Select passport number. Use edit attributes. Let's call it rename to identifier number. The new label will be identifier number. The API name will be identifier underscore number underscore underscore C and click apply. With this, the output will be customer ID, identifier number, identifier key, identifier name, and identifier type. Let's close this. Now we'll load this into an output, which will be a DLO identifier list. Click on plus. Click on output. The data lake object is identifier list. Customer ID gets mapped to party. Identify number gets mapped to identification number. Identifier key gets mapped to identifier key. Identifier name gets mapped to identification name. Identifier type gets mapped to party identification type. And hit apply. Let us save it and call this as Extract Identifiers from AWS S3 Customers. Click on Save. So far, we have done this transformation for records with passport numbers. Let us repeat the same steps with some additional changes for records with customer reward numbers. Click next to the AWS S3 Customer Input node. Click on the Filter option. Before using the filter, let us understand that the customer reward number is a number we must convert this into text. So let us close this. We are not going to use a filter, so delete this filter. 
Let's use transform to change customer reward number to text. Click apply. Select customer reward number. Use option number to text. Let's call this transformation as text. Show the results in the original column and click apply. With this transformation, the customer reward number is also stored as text. With this transformation, let us use filter as a next step. Filter, let's say get a customer reward number. Click apply. Use add custom expression. Use car length. With the field as customer reward number greater than zero. Click apply. Next, we are going to use the transform node to add a key, add an identifier type, identifier name and drop a column. Let's use transform. Let's call this transform as add a key, name and type drop column. Click apply. Then we are going to drop this passport number column. So select the passport number column, click drop columns and say drop passport number. Click apply. So we are left with only two columns which are customer ID and customer reward number. Let's concatenate them and create a key. Formula, custom formula, let us call this add key. Use concatenation function or concat function. The first field will be customer ID. And the second field will be customer reward number. The output of this transformation will be text. The column will be identifier key. And the API name will be identifier underscore key underscore underscore C. Click apply. So that adds a column identifier key. Next, we are going to add identifier name. Custom formula. Add identifier name. Here we are going to hard code it to the customer reward number. Output will be text. The column label will be identifier name. The API name will be identifier name underscore underscore C. Click apply. So that's the second column that got added. The third column that we're going to add is identifier type, which will have a hard coded value of identifier. Custom formula, add identifier type, hard coded it to identifier. Output is text. Label is identifier type. API name will be identifier underscore type underscore underscore C. Hit apply. And that's the fourth column that has been added. Then we are going to rename the customer reward number to identifier number. Let's use the edit attributes and call it as rename to identifier number. The label will be identifier number. The API name will be identifier underscore number underscore underscore C. Hit apply. And finally, we have the customer ID, identifier number, identifier key, identifier name, and identifier type. Let us save this. Finally, we are going to add the output or append the output of this transformation to the output of the previous transformation. So click plus, drag it here, select append, and let's select the keys on which it will get appended. These will get automatically selected if the column names are the same between the output of two transformation customer ID, identifier key, identifier name, and identifier type. Hit apply. then save it. Now let's see the output. The output will have customers with their identifier number as passport number, and the same set of customers with their identifier numbers as the customer reward number. Click Save. 